anyway, we're going to talk about platforms today. And they really are the best foundation for having you know, a higher long-term ROI. We want to kind of establish why platforms, generally speaking, are the best option. So, Travis, I know you have a lot of background in this area and plenty to say about it. So why don't you take over from here? So first off, let's understand what the term platform really means. With Ignition, we take uh, the decision we made to make it a platform. It was really important that uh, we developed it as, uh, as such. So a platform is a group of technologies that are used as a base upon which other applications, processes, or technologies are developed. We use various platforms every single day. Uh, for example, your smartphone is a platform for a variety of applications. Uh, you can go to the App Store, you can download applications, you can extend that functionality, and you can go further. The phone has a vessel that has you know, a speaker and microphone and a screen and touchscreen and, and a, an underlying OS, but the apps can add a lot of value, a lot of, a lot of power that other people can develop and, and be able to, to utilize and to be able to bring to the table for yourself. And that's what platforms really are about, is you know, where not only can you build applications or you leverage it, but you should be able to extend it and go a lot further with those. With those. So why should we use a platform? Here are some of the biggest drivers. Innovation is probably the largest. There's a huge ecosystem of users, partners, collaborators, and producers who all contribute and generate very innovative ideas against that platform. Because the platform tenants allow for those that kind of collaboration. We're going to talk a lot more about ecosystem here at the end. But next, it has a fa has faster response times as technology shifts. So platforms are much more suited to adapt to technology changes uh, than a lot of proprietary products because platforms, again, as we look at it on tenants, they're built fundamentally on open standards and really want to leverage uh, the technology. And so we can generally get those technologies uh, available in platforms much faster. There's also lesser risk uh, because of the fact that there's more users, more people contributing, there's more stability on that um, over time. And ultimately choosing a platform um, you know, and building application provides that uh, lesser risk overall. As I mentioned, that large community with uh, abundance of available resources. So case studies and training and templates, um, you know, uh, examples of what people have done. These are all things that help drive the innovation for yourself and you can cross pollinate with other folks and really it makes the application much better because um, it can expand the scope of, of what you're thinking. So platforms are really different than products. And I wanna kind of compare and contrast products and platforms. Products are typically closed and proprietary. They really only keep the consumers in mind. So that you know, the people that are buying and actually using it. Often they'll be simple in terms of configuration, but and um, uh, you know, and, and they'll get you to get, give you the functions that you need, but ultimately they're uh, typically not customizable. You can't extend it, you can't go further. Um, and, and, and or the understanding the inner workings of that are uh, generally not available because of it being proprietary. When you look at platforms, platforms are centered around a core piece of technology that is generally open, open and standards based. Platforms keep producers and they keep consumers in mind. So both, um, because you don't just use platforms, you can also contribute to them. Platforms offer more than products do, which means that you can get more ROI from them over, uh, over long term. So let's talk about the core tenets of the platform. I mentioned that a couple of times here, but first is open access and interfaces. So platforms have to have uh, a lot of interfaces, a lot of, of known standards and open access. And that does not mean it's, it's not insecure. We can leverage you know, open source and, and, uh, and, and various standards that have security as a, uh, as, as, you know, a, a really important built-in thing. So then platforms also give you connectivity in and out. So we can get data into platforms, we can get data out of platforms you know, very, very easily, and there's a lot of options for that. Typically they're modular uh, architecture so that you can pick and choose the pieces you need and it's easy to build onto. You can extend that. There's an SDK, you can go a lot further uh, with those. Uh, uh, so if there's a function you don't have that's not there, you can easily add on to that. And they provide really endless possibilities and endless solutions um, because they're typically, they have a lot of tools and that you can leverage and that you can you really build around. And there's a vibrant ecosystem. And I think the ecosystem is really how the value is created around the platform. And, and Don's gonna talk more about that at the end. But these are the building blocks any platform out there must 
have in order to be successful. So our CEO, Steve Hackman, worked for 25 years as a system integrator and dealt with many pain points that made it difficult for him to solve his customer's challenges. Those pain points drove us to create a platform instead of just a product. That's why Ignition is easy, fun, and affordable. It's easy to install and upgrade. It's open and standards-based. It's cross-platform. It offers rap rapid design and development and deployment. It's collaborative, transparent, very important to be transparent, scalable, modular, extensible, backwards compatible, and most importantly, it sets you up. Uh, it's it's future-proof. future, future proof. I think if you can take anything away from this is that we made Ignition this way to alleviate all those pain points and to leverage a platform so that you could has, use it as a, as a foundation uh, as you go forward and that it will help you be, you know, be future-proof. So the Ignition platform, as I, as I said, is future-proof because it allows your organization to grow with your system. You can expand by adding new tags, projects, screens, and clients. You can connect to more systems. You can add modules, add more functionality to, this, to the system. Uh, there's tools in there to help scale. So you can add additional servers uh, or, or scale at multiple locations, uh, have a bigger enterprise solution. And with the SDK, we can extend with um, adding modules, and we can also integrate with other, other systems. And of course, as technology comes out, we can add more modules that you can bring into the mix.